Hi everybody, this is your weekly business guidance reading for the 5th to the 12th of June 2017. As usual, I've picked some cards for you today. And the first card that we're looking at today is the Knight of Coins or the Knight of Pentacles. This card is really about standing in your own power, standing up for the things that you believe in, standing up for your truths. Regardless of the people that are trying to hold you back, it's time to stand in that power, to be your authentic self, especially in your business, if you want to gain that know, like and trust factor from your potential clients. So sometimes it's hard to stand in our own power, to be our authentic selves, because we worry about what people around us think. But if we're not standing in our true authenticity, then it's very hard for people to connect with us because they're trying to connect with someone that isn't our true selves. So it is time to you know, find that confidence, to stand up for yourself, to stand up for what you believe in and really show your tribe, your clients, your potential clients who you really are so that they can start to connect with you. It's almost as if you've been hiding behind a mask and it is time to remove that mask. The mask has been um, like protection for you, for yourself, so that you're not letting people in too much to discover the real you. But it's important, like I say, if you want that connection with your potential clients in your tribe, it is time to remove that mask and really like start to show them what you're really about, what you like, what you dislike, what inspires you, what moves you forwards in your business. Okay, so really do start to look at what you are hiding from your potential client and why you aren't being your um, authentic self. As we move on, the Eight of Cups is also you know, talking on a similar path. It's asking you, what can you do to bring a deeper satisfaction and joy to your life beyond the obvious of material gain um, and physical pleasure? But, you know, what, do, what is it that you really want, okay, within, um, within your business, okay? Because you're not quite on the right path or you're not quite connecting with your soul clients. And it's really, really important that you do. So it almost feels like you're at a point of giving up and this card is telling you no just you know look at things with a different perspective maybe take a step back get in tune with your authenticity and start sharing that and that will give you the deeper purpose that you want to move forwards with okay so it is time to start focusing on your personal truth okay um there's also a feeling here of wanting to almost escape from, um, you know, the rat race and everything that is going on around you. So more, set yourself more spiritual goals at the moment. So perhaps not necessarily looking at the monetary goals that you want to achieve from your business. Of course, that's important that you set them. I'm not saying, you know, don't set them. But what I'm saying is spiritually, what will you get from working with those clients? Spiritually, what can you offer those clients? Okay, so perhaps looking at things in a slightly different perspective in order to help you to move forwards with the business um, and really step into that authenticity. And that's really you know, what this reading is about this week because the Two of Swords is also you know, telling you that you're not seeing something here, you know? Um, it's like you've got a blindfold on and it is definitely time to take a step back and have a look at exactly what is going on around you. It's a time where you need more information to help you to make the right decisions in moving your business forwards. It also talks about counselling or coaching to help you to really get to where it is that you want to go, um, get to the bottom of your goals to you know help you to really find your authenticity and you know what works with your soul clients in order to attract them. So the Two of Swords is asking you to you know, really research your options at this time. You know, what resources are around you that you can use to help you to build your business, to help you to stand in your own power, to um, help you to be 
authentic okay and you know if you can reach out to to people that will help you you know whether you look for um, you know your own personal coaching sessions to really help you build your business or you know whether you look for a work buddy or a mentor um, or you know someone that you can throw ideas around with that you can help encourage and inspire each other then you know use those resources that are around you to help you to really move the business forwards it's also important to stay in balance as well okay so do have a look at what's going on around you keep that balance within you make sure that you know it's not on work and that you are getting some rest and relaxation as well um, because that's also very very important but I do feel that you're looking at things in an intellectual way so you're looking at things that look good, really good on paper but perhaps they're not um, in line with what your soul or your heart center is telling you so trying to get some balance between intellect and um, your heart center as well would also be really beneficial for you so that you're not you know um, conflicting all the time within yourself um, so also you know do take a, a, a break from your usual way of thinking you ask yourself some questions tune in with yourself really really important if something feels good to you it's going to be good so instead of always looking at things through intellect like I say and you know things that are looking good on paper if they're not feeling right for you then you know some changes need to be made so perhaps looking at things in a different way and asking yourself those questions will really help you to get in tune with what is the right path for you and um, also who your soul clients are you know are you working with the right kind of people do you need to change something slightly do you need to be more with, with, um, authentic with what it is that you're doing as well so um, quite an important week this week with this reading it really is about your own unique gifts it's about attracting your soul clients and being in your own authenticity in order to really build your business and let go of the things that aren't serving you let go of um, habitual patterns that aren't helping you to move forwards and start stepping into that power and moving things forwards and looking for outside help as well to help you to think differently to make you become accountable um, you know whatever works for you whatever feels right for you so that's it for this week i look forward to catching up with you next week um, please check out my youtube channel and subscribe and you can also find me on facebook in my facebook Book group where we have lots of challenges free readings and lots and lots of different inspirational things going on so have a great week everybody and i look forward to speaking to you next week